we have Australia's largest range of tyre brands and sizes. Find a cheaper identical tyre locally stocked and we'll beat it. At Bob Jane t -Marts, we'll look after you. Has he got that magic touch? Rowan delivers. Chance. Mitch. Mitch. He has done it. South Melbourne through to the round of 16. Unbelievable. The very last touch in the game. Surely now that's done it for them. The fans pouring out of the stands. Down to the first. The players in delirium. Sweet relief. Sweet joy. And look at what it means to them. Heading to extra time. But it doesn't matter. What a finish. Milos Luic, who just needed one good header. There was still a sea of bodies around him. He somehow manages to find the back of the net. They say he scores when he wants. Well, I think he definitely wanted to score that time. And there it is. It is all over. Relief for Moos Ridge. Relief for South Melbourne. Relief and indeed joy. Two worthy champion teams coming up against each other here tonight. Truly a game of two halves. So look at what it means to the fans. The players come down to the fence to celebrate. And the, the coaches and officials, Chris Marshall hugging Milos Lewis there. What a relief coaching staff they'll be. There were still a few demons from a couple of years ago up in Gold Coast. While well, they've been exercised now, South Melbourne, they can relax and enjoy this one. And look forward to the round of 16. And for the fans, well, they deserve this one. Milos Lujic, he scores when he wants. Mate, sometime other than the last second of the game would be good for the collective heart attacks of the fans, but how big a moment was that? One of the best you scored at South. Yeah, no, it was a big moment for the club. It was, uh, it's got to be up there, one of my favourite goals, um, obviously. But, yeah, we just like the fans, so we fight to the end. That's what we did today, and I thought second half we pushed them right back and we deserved the goal, so luckily it happened in the last second. We have to give credit where it's due. Edgeworth, fantastic in the first half. In the second, we did get on top of them, but their back four was incredible. And uh, fair to say they probably had the better of you for most of the game and made you work really hard for that one. I thought it was a game of, of, of two halves. I thought first half they really came at us and they gave it their all. But I think second half they really slowed down um, and our fitness played a, played a big part and I think we just ran over the top of them and we were just unlucky not to score a goal a bit earlier on. And yeah, and then we, we scored one at the end. So it's good for the club and we go to the next round and see what happens. Milos will get the glory and be on the highlights reel, but it was because of your saves and your work down the back that we were still in the game at the end. Uh, look, yeah, I appreciate it, but I think it was uh, it was a pretty solid collective effort, especially the second half. We were struggling a little bit first half, but um, I think the second half boys pulled in. So it's not look regardless of of who does what, who scores. I think it's just important to to get through to the next stage. You know, it's awesome for the club and for the fans. It's been um, it's been long overdue. Everybody knew what was on what, what was on the table, so. Obviously, we came out a little bit slow. I think maybe, maybe some nerves for certain players or maybe just the occasion was a little bit um, overwhelming to start off. But um, I think the second half, we came out and we outplayed them. And uh, some of your teammates have dubbed you the number one South fan. You seem to like to get over to the, uh, the fence and get along with the boys and the trumpet at the end of the game. Gets you fired up? Uh, yeah, look, growing up, I was, I was actually a boy, ball boy here um, when, you, when, when South was in the, in the National League. And um, I used to always love hearing the trumpet come out. Um, and it was it's just, I don't know, just, just for me, it's more, um, how can I say? It's more, it just comes natural where I feel like I'm a part of the boys, part of the fans. And, you know, obviously I try to do my, my bit uh, on the ground and I um, want to give back to the fans a little bit after the game. And it, it makes them feel important and, and, and they're a massive part of the club. And, you know, without them, the club will be nothing. Um, a couple of years ago, we had the heartache of um, obviously losing on penalties, which is a, a hard feat to come to. But, you know, today we, we had it in our minds. You know, we thought about that game and, and all we wanted to do is get a win today. And, you know, I think the boys dug deep. We've um, probably put the supporters through a fair bit in the last couple of uh, cup games, but um, just glad, glad to get the win today. And uh, Big Milos, was it ever going to be anyone else? They say he scores when he wants and I think he decided last chance of the game, might as well put one away. Yeah, I think he was in almost in doubt not to play today. So, you know, Mills is one of those players where, you know, you've got to mark him all game or else he can pop up at any minute. Um, we were fortunate enough for us today that he popped up in the last minute and or probably after the last minute, I think, by hearing it, but um, and, and scored the winner. So, you know, everyone was, you know, on point today. Um, kept a clean sheet, so the defenders did well, midfield did well, worked hard, and, and then, you know, Millsy got the credit for, for scoring the winning goal in the end. So we'll take it. 
Absolutely. We'll also take the fact that he dug everyone out of the, uh, the painful heartache of going through extra time again. Bradley, fantastic game from you and everybody. I'm sure the fans really appreciated it. Well done. Congratulations. And the best of luck, not just with the, cup uh, the upcoming Cup games, but also the league that we have to get back into as well. Yeah, thank you. And thank you to all the supporters who came out tonight. It was a great crowd. And we saw that at the end by celebrating with them. So we hope to keep that happening. And, you know, we'll try and go as far as we can. So thank you. Yeah, that, that was what was going through my mind at the end. You know, just before that corner, I thought this is Palm Beach all over again. Going to penalties. We just might have to, you know, just rev Nicola up a bit and see if he goes the right way this time. But uh, in the end, it worked out well for us. Edgeworth, uh, we should have known they'd be a, a good side. I mean, they've been champions of their division the last couple of seasons. And first half, I thought they probably got the better of us. Yeah, yeah, I thought they, um, I thought they set themselves out well. You know, they uh, they tried to man mark uh, Nick Epifano at times, and uh, you know that worked well for them in the first half. Uh, and pro they probably dominated the half. But um, we spoke about it at half time about it being a bit patient, moving the ball around. And I thought we did that in the second half, and just a matter of time before we scored. So, obviously, the excitement tonight, but. Uh, we need to come back down to earth. We've got a lot of league games still to play. We're fighting for top spot and uh, we'll have to uh, eagerly anticipate the draw for the next round as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, three days time we play Pascaval and that's, that's crucial to us. You know, I mean, for me, the league's the most important thing. Um, that's been a purist. Um, we, we're top of the league and we're defended it at the moment, but it's just getting tougher and tougher each week. And, you know, we've got two more games in this crucial spell you know it's 12 days four games and um, yeah we're halfway through it now and let's let's hopefully we can get some good results in the next two league games Pascaval and Avondale.